Hi, I'm Jess Hunt. Welcome to Hey Parents, Let's Chat, uh, where the more we share, the more we learn, and the better parents we become. So for today's conversation, I wanted to have a chat about a term that I hear often. I've heard it over the years as a parent. I have heard it in the classroom as a teacher. Um, and I feel like it's something that really needs to be addressed. Bullying. What is it? I feel like it's an overused term um, where, you know, something small and slight is happening and it's all of a sudden my kid is being bullied and the whole world has to stop until it's fixed. Okay, so I think we need to take a step back um, and really look at what bullying is. Um, it's a conversation that I've had to have with many students in the classroom. It's a conversation I've had to have with parents. Um, it's something I've had to deal with with my own children over the years. Um, I, in one of our videos, um, the video about mama bears and helicopter parents, um, in that video I gave a couple examples of bullying. Um, and there, in those two instances, they are probably the only two instances I actually even really had to deal with true bullying. I feel like it's a rare occurrence. Um, but it's an overused term. So in that video, um, I gave an instance where my son was at the beach and there was a kid who had a reputation of being a bully in school. Um, and he ended up putting his hands around my son's throat. Um, and so that is why I referred to him as a bully because um, for a couple reasons, there was an imbalance of power in, in such that like this boy is big. A kid is not. <laughs> so there is an imbalance of power. Um, there was also physical aggression. Um, and it, there was also um, repeated occurrences where I have heard from my son and his friends different instances that were happening in school where there was a pattern of behavior. Um, so that was that one instance. And then I also mentioned um, there was a student in the classroom and there was a bullying incident and the parent called me. Um, and this was also a very similar situation in such that this student also had a reputation for bullying. Um, and the more I learned about him, um, he did have some bullying tendencies. I wouldn't call him like a full-fledged bully, um, but there were some instances that he did have to be dealt with. Um, and again, there was an imbalance of power. This kid was big, uh, bigger than your typical, um, fourth or fifth grader. And there was also some aggression, um, which it, it was internalized as threatening behavior. And so here's where I want to get down to what bullying actually is. And let's clarify like what it truly is. Um, when you are dealing with bullying behavior, as I've mentioned, there needs to be an imbalance of power um, where you've got an older kid who's picking on a younger kid. That's an imbalance of power where you have a larger sized kid who is picking on a smaller sized kid. That's an imbalance of power. Um, you know, if you're talking about um, kids that are threatening in a very physical way. Um, that is bullying behavior. So like if you've got this large kid that is intentionally, you know, shouldering or shoving a kid as they're getting in line for school and glaring at them at the same time, you know, that can be internalized as very threatening behavior. Um, and if, you know, you've got actual physical aggression where there's hands on another kid, that is absolute bullying behavior. Again, there needs to be the threat um, in order for it to be bullying. There also needs to be a pattern of behavior. It can't happen just once. And this is where like I will often have students come up to me like, so and so is bullying me. Like, okay, well tell me the story. What's happening? And they're like, well, they just did this once. And I'm like, okay, well one time is that the teachable moment where we need to learn. Okay, let's talk about it. And, you know, um, let's figure out a way to solve it. But uh, what it occurs just once, that's not bullying. 
that's just bad behavior. <laughs> so if it happens over time and there's a pattern of behavior, there's aggression, there's the imbalance of power, then you're falling into the bullying category. Um, when someone is calling someone a jerk or cutting someone in line, um, that's just unkind, rude, bad behavior. That's not bullying. Um, you know, I've had parents that have called me and they're like, my kid is being bullied because someone is calling them names. You know what? Even calling someone names, that's not bullying. It's unkind. Sure. Absolutely. All day long. Not bullying. Um, and so I just wanted to have a conversation with people um, and find out what people's thoughts are. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, you know, what have your experiences been? Um, I feel like it's a term that's just being thrown around and is overused. Um, and I think we need to be more accurate when we're dealing with social situations with our children. Like, let's call it what it is. Um, if someone is being a jerk, well, then go find someone else to hang out with. Go find, you know, friends that are going to be kind to you. Don't be hanging out with kids that are going to be jerks. Jerks are not bullies. Although bullies are absolutely jerks. So... Anyway, I do think we need to be accurate when we're discussing these things with our kids so that they have an understanding of the true meaning of the words. Because we don't want children to grow up thinking that they were bullied when they really weren't. They were hanging out with kids that were unkind. Well, that's not bullying. And frankly, I think that children need to be taught that they need to go pick better friends to hang out with. If you've got a group of friends and you feel like you're being bullied by someone, well, go hang out with someone else, you know? Um, and so I think that that's an important lesson for kids to learn. Um, don't be around people who are going to be unkind to you. And if people are going to be unkind to you, then call them out on it and say, hey, you're being a jerk. I'm going to go hang out with so-and-so who's going to be nice to me. Um, or, you know, I'm not going to hang out with you if you're going to treat me like that and then walk away. Um, and I think it's important that we give kids these phrases to use, give them some of the dialogue, give them the tools, so that when they're in these situations, they have these phrases inside their head to fall back on, um, so that they can stand up for themselves. Um, and then if you are dealing with an actual bullying situation, um, your kid's going to need to have some strategies and some way to handle themselves and stick up for themselves. Um, and if they've learned to deal with their jerks, you know, they're gaining confidence, they're learning how to stick up for themselves. When it comes time to deal with a bully, they're going to be more apt to take care of business and not put up with it. And that's what we want. We don't want kids to be getting into fights all the time. Um, we don't want kids to be putting themselves in dangerous situations. But we do want children to stand up for themselves and be making good choices socially um, and realizing that they do have choices. You don't have to hang out with so-and-so or this group of kids. Go find another group of kids to hang out with if they're not nice um, or they're making you feel uncomfortable. I've always taught my own children, um, rely on those internal instincts, what's your gut telling you? Um, and many, many, many times over the years, I'm always asking them, what's your gut telling you? What are your instincts telling you to do? Um, and I think if kids are more apt to follow their gut, then they're more apt to go find kids that they're comfortable with, um, rather than hanging out with kids that they're not comfortable with. Anyway, these are my thoughts. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Um, join our conversation. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your experiences? How can we learn from your wisdom and your experiences? Um, do you have questions that perhaps some of us can help you with? So I'm hoping that you're finding value in our conversations. And if you are, um, please hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the follow, um, share, invite, so that we can have um, lots of people joining our conversations. So definitely hit the comment section. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts. And if there are some um, topics that you would love to see discussed, um, go to heyparentsletschat.com and hit on the link where you can email me your ideas. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and in the meantime, 
join our conversation. Let's see what you have to say, and hopefully we can learn from each other. So until our next chat, thank you for joining us.